Yo, what's good? Anthony Joshua stops Carlos Takam in the ninth round in front of 78,000 people in England. I think it's London, the O2 Arena, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong about that, but that is impressive, first of all. Um, we got ourselves a real superstar in our hands, at least a local in England, but I have a feeling we got ourselves an international superstar, and I believe Joshua to be the future of boxing, and he might even be the present of boxing. He might even be, when people say, I am boxing, he is that guy right now. Anthony Joshua is the biggest superstar in boxing, besides Canelo. Um, talk about a little bit about this fight. It was a good fight. Um, Anthony Joshua didn't set the world on fire tonight. He had a lot of trouble. In the second round, Carlos Takam gave his best Holyfield impression, his best Orlando Salido impression, and he headbutt Anthony Joshua right in the nose, and he busted it open. And in the post-fight interview... Anthony Joshua was asked, do you think it's broken? And he like moved it. He's like, sure feels like it. <laughs> so Anthony Joshua might have a broken nose thanks to Carlos Takam's headbutt. And I'm sure that really made it hard for Anthony Joshua to breathe throughout the fight. He was breathing through his mouth after the fifth, sixth rounds. He was breathing heavily through his mouth. And I think that had something to do with it. The fact that it was a hard fought fight. Takam came to fight. And the fact that maybe his conditioning is off. He was the heaviest he had ever came in in the weigh-in. I believe he was like 258, something like that. He was, But he was the heaviest he had ever weighed in his whole career. He was still ripped, right? You know Anthony Joshua, muscles, still muscular. He still had a six-pack, but, but he was the heaviest he's ever been. And that's not really good for boxing. All that muscle is not great for, for boxing. It's great for bodybuilding. It's great for if he was a pro wrestler. He'd be, he, he definitely has that pro wrestler look to the superstar of a WWE superstar, Anthony Joshua does. Just not the mic skills quite yet. He could develop them. <laughs> That's something I'd like to see him in a, in a segment in WWE. But anyway, yeah, he had trouble breathing through. Maybe he had... Trouble breathing through his nose, but he was breathing through his mouth for a, for a big portion of this fight. Takam came to fight, man. He got dropped in the fourth round, but even before that, he he was bringing it. He was hitting. He was touching um, Anthony Joshua with his punches. He was getting inside, hitting him to the body. Anthony Joshua was fighting with them on the inside and caught him with the left hook in the fourth round. But Takam got up, and man, he lasted until the ninth, and even then. Even then, it seemed like it was an early stoppage. Because when you put in into uh, perspective all that he had gone through for the first eight rounds, I mean, he had probably been through worse barrages than what had happened in that ninth before the fight was stopped. He got hit with a couple good punches, um, an uppercut, and a couple, right, a couple good right hands. But... It did not warrant a stoppage. Not for this tough veteran fighter that brought it the whole fight. He he could have continued, man. He might have been able to take um Joshua to 12 rounds. He might have been able to take him the whole fight. I don't think he would have. I think he would have eventually got stopped in the 10th or the 11th. But come on. Come on, ref. Th this is, I believe, to be a big problem in boxing today. The fans don't see how a fight is supposed to play out. Now, everybody hated McGregor Mayweather. I'm sorry for mentioning it, but I have to right now. That was an early stoppage. Let the fight play out. Let a fight play out. Corrales. Sure, he stumbled, got up at 9. But let the fight play out, man. Everything these guys went through before that kind of says to all the fans that they, they could have handled this barrage. They could have gone through it. Give them a little something, ref. Give them some credit. Give these fighters some credit. They could continue. Now, for all the good refs out there, I don't mean that 
as an insider, and I do think there are a lot of good stoppages out there. But there's a lot of bad ones, especially in championship fights. Let let the guy let the guy earn it, man. Let the guy earn the knockout. Anthony Joshua was gonna earn the knockout. But anyway, a good victory for Anthony Joshua. He need he needs these type of fights right now. That way, you know you don't want a world champion that's still developing. But that's what we got. We got um prospects with belts. I forgot who said that, but. That's what we have right now. Prospects with belt, they're still learning. They're still developing. They're still finding themselves, right? <laughs> and this is what we got. Anthony Joshua and Wilder, they're both basically prospects with belt. And I know that sucks to say because Joshua, he fucking beat Klitschko. He beat a, an all-time great fighter. But you showed tonight that he, he, he still probably needs some help with his conditioning. And he probably might have trouble his whole career going rounds with this conditioning so we'll see i look forward to that and um i'll talk about joshua the joshua wilder situation maybe in a, another video because this video is already pretty long but thanks everybody for watching and have a great day i hope you enjoyed the fight